Call the meeting to order of the Public Utilities Commission, July 22nd, 2014. First order of business is to approve the minutes of the regular meeting held on June 24th, 2014. Move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of the Public Utilities Commission held June 24th, 2014. I'll second that motion. And we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the June 24th Public Utilities Commission meeting. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Motion carries. Next item, report from the city manager regarding utility operations for the month of July 2014. All right, uh, electric distribution <coughs> has uh, been working on projects uh, both for the city and uh, within the community. You'll notice that uh, the uh, water department pressure reducing valve project shows up in electric distribution and in the water. Uh, they've worked on the woodpecker issues on the transmission lines. They think they've got that uh, all, the holes are plugged and the wire mesh is on. There's some that are found out uh, in the low areas. It's kind of muddy yet, so they got to wait for the, land, the dirt to dry out before they can get out there and, and finish up. But that project should be pretty well done. Uh, no medical center loop feed, you know, you know project. We got the substation transfer, Milford Heights. Uh, loop uh, feed, you know, all things utilized, uh, or this, these particular things are utilized for uh, redundancy so that uh, if one line goes down, we can back feed. And the new feeder for the water department. Uh, electric production, well, they've been working on the number five and number seven gas turbines, the back pressure uh, turbine repairs, and the annual outage of the 400 pound system. They have done some, you notice in the rest of the report, uh, testing to make sure that we can uh, provide the necessary amount of electricity that uh, MISO uh, that we've bought or uh, bid into MISO so if somebody says hey I need electricity that equipment can uh, get up and running and, and it did uh, get tested and uh, is working properly so if we get asked uh, we can provide that Gas, natural gas, uh, safety telephone survey, that's something basically new that's uh, occurring. Uh, Fair Hills addition gas uh, main installation, new gas main for our new subdivision. Water district energy, the pressure reducing valve system installation. And uh, uh, basically we've got a couple of issues with that uh, system. There's some valves that need to be replaced. Some will be replaced right now. And uh, when the road gets uh, fixed and repaired, you know, in the next couple of years down, down the road here, uh, we're, we're kind of talking out by uh, <clears throat> uh, the Casey uh, Road south to Highway 14 in that general area, the lower versus the higher parts of the community. And that's what the pr pressure reducing valve system is set up to do. There's some valves that uh, are not, uh, they can't tell if they're opening and or closing. So we'll need to re uh, fix and repair those, but we'll do that when the road goes in. It's not, it's not imperative that we have them operational, uh, but they will need to get fixed at some point in the, in the future. The SCADA system, we had the bid opening. You have that as an agenda item uh, to address. And then uh, energy services, uh, uh, you know, we're doing, you know, trying to in, in, in invite people to uh, conserve water. There's press release for that. Uh, I think primarily from the uh, storms, we had so, so much water coming through the system that we basically t asked everybody to, if you don't have to use water, don't, because it just adds to the problem. Uh, we basically uh, have uh, uh, come back to normal. Uh, well, we've been probably normal for a while, but we're really at normal operations at the wastewater treatment plant, so that, uh, that by itself is... Uh, it, it wasn't a, a long, extensive period of time where we had to uh, try and get uh, everything back to operating properly. And then the natural gas billing, uh, we did find that there were some meters that were uh, utilizing the wrong multiplier uh, to come to the appropriate uh, billing. And uh, there are some that uh, we owe some money and there's some that they owe us. So it wasn't all one-sided, but as we go through uh, and, and you know check certain things you know we 6,000 accounts and gas water electric sewer steam 
we do find something that's not quite right and uh, and we're in the process of uh, correcting that and that's normal uh, administrative process for that so other than that if there are any uh, questions I would try to answer them but I think the the report uh, and the <coughs> construction projects for each of the departments is in quite extensive to get a feel for what's going on uh, just one question the the uh, Nails Park elevated storage tank which is supposed to be operational by aug August 1st reading the short little paragraph on that I wasn't sure whether that is still doable or not I believe it is the, the there's water in it right now it's been super chlorinated uh, to get rid of you know anything you know had been painted and then then you uh, super chlorinate the water uh, after a period of time as uh, you know, some are aware uh, and others are not but the the chlorine dissipates mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. like in one day it it dissipates 50 percent and the next day it's 50 percent of that what's left and 50 percent and eventually the, the the water is okay to drink you know so we're in the process of uh, uh, keeping that water and uh, doing a few things as far as you know making sure there's the the doors have locks on the inside as you go up uh, through the interior we do have a, a door that has to be installed it's the main door to the to the water tower that needs to get uh, uh, installed and just a few minor minor things are going on right now we do anticipate in, in August uh, August 1st you know substantial completion I mean, there's always some things. They still have to put the road in. They still have to do some landscaping around the outside to level off all the dirt. But the water tower itself should be pretty well done. So the park back to normal for the park could take like late fall or next spring even? Oh, I I would say, you know, I, I my gut feeling is that they're going to plant some grass and some other things. So, you know, it, it once it's it's cleaned up and the grass is planted and the road is, you know, installed, uh, uh, it should look pretty back to normal. It just it'll just take some time to get the grass to grow in the uh, yeah. disrupted. I've just noticed down by me on South Park that Frisbee Park is getting played continuously yeah. and because they aren't playing up there, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to also recognize the employee of the month for June, Leon Portner. Leon Portner serves in the position of meter technician in the. Uh, PUC administration and has been employed by the PUC since October of 1975 which by my math is 39 years that's quite remarkable our congratulations to Leon I offer a motion to receive an order filed report regarding utility operations during the month of July 2014 I'll second the motion okay we have a motion and second to uh, accept to receive an order filed the report regarding utility operations for July 2014 is there any further discussion all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries item 2b from the water steam department supervisor regarding the new Ulm public utilities drinking water report is that who's going to present Yes, this uh, this report is uh, presented to the uh, PUC and also the customers of the system on an annual basis. <clears throat> and uh, this is this year's report. Uh, we're we're in compliance of all the categories uh, that you you know I can identify uh, in the report. Uh, so that's nothing new. We've been historically been in compliance with with uh, all of the rules and regulations uh, pertaining to water quality so uh, this is you know basically a standard standard report that comes out and uh, just note that it that we are in compliance with uh, the regulations good I'll uh, move to receive an order filed the new on public utilities 2013 drinking water report I'll second Okay, motion and second to receive an order filed the Bowen Public Utilities Drinking Water Report for 2013. Is there any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 3A will consider appointment of a 
commissioner to serve on the Energy Awareness Committee and a commissioner to serve on the Long-Term Power Committee. I think just to note that the Long-Term Power Committee hasn't met for <laughs> a long term. Uh, <laughs> although I think we continue to keep that in place in case there's a need to come back, uh, just pointing out that there's, there's not a, it's not very labor intensive. It hasn't met. Uh, energy awareness meets, I believe, once a month, and it goes and uh, has a uh, commission <clears throat> that uh, looks at the uh, energy uh, programs that uh, the PUC utilizes to incite people to reduce and talk about the rebates and the trees that get planted on the south side of your house to give shade and to reduce the air conditioning loads and things like that. So uh, as you note, uh, Norm Melville uh, was uh, on that uh, commission. So basically uh, what we have here is if uh, if you want to uh, volunteer or trade a current committee that you're on for <laughs> for one of these, uh, I think the concept was having uh, uh, Norm's replacement jump right into <laughs> energy awareness. Uh, it was kind of abrupt. And so uh, if there's, you know, I mean, it's nothing that you can't do, you know, uh, have total faith in that but just getting to know how the PUC operates and then uh, jump into that kind of a program is is uh, probably more intense than, let's say, going to some of the, like the long-term power committee. Mm -hmm. It doesn't uh, meet at all. Certainly my intention was to get a feel for the commission prior to joining a committee, but in short order, that would be my intention, depending on what committees are available. So uh, are you volunteering? I mean... I, I certainly would volunteer for the Energy Awareness Committee, knowing that my knowledge is not on the high level, being my second month in, as a member of the Public Utilities Commission. But Mr. I would volunteer, yeah. Mr. For President. Clear. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, for, for clarification, uh, we have two people serving on Energy Awareness, or is there just one from the two just commissioners? One. Is there just one in each of those? Okay. I was thinking for some reason that, that one and, and quite honestly, we have staff. Uh, uh, William Swanson, you know, from the PUC is the staff for that committee. So, uh, you know, he'd be more than able to, you know, help you get caught up on okay. what's going on and what they're working on. I think we'll do it the, the old railroad way, and I would uh, nominate uh, Commissioner Fingland to serve on both of those committees. Second. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right. We have a motion and a second to, to appoint Commissioner Fingland to uh, serve on the Energy Awareness Committee uh, and also the Long-Term Power Committee, replacing uh, Commissioner Melville on those committees. Is there uh, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay, motion carries. Item 3B will consider awarding the bid for the comprehensive water system SCADA upgrade project. Yeah, the history on this is that uh, we had a, uh, went, we had gone out for bid for the SCADA upgrade project, and I believe it was just uh, hardware and software not connected, not provided by the same provider. And one of the issues that you run into is if there's a problem, the hardware guy can point to the software and the software guy can point to the hardware guy and say, eh, it's not my problem. Uh, so uh, we, we uh, regrouped, we put the hardware and the software into one bid. The uh, engineer's estimate was approximately $660,000 and the bid came in for the entire project at $491,840. We had two bids, and uh, they were $25,000 apart approximately. So we feel really good that the, the bids are, are uh, legitimate and, and can be uh, you know, accepted. Uh, and 
uh, in control was our prior provider and they're the the 25,000 high bidder and uh, automatic systems is mm. uh, is a legitimate uh, vendor uh, providing both hardware and software and uh, there uh, is nothing to our knowledge that would preclude us from throwing out the low bid and going with the high bid so at this point in time the recommendation would be to uh, uh, go with the automatic uh, systems bid in the amount of uh, $491,840. Why do you think it was so much less than the estimate? I don't know. Uh, maybe the, the, the concept of competition, you know. Uh, Plus the technology have come down a lot in this kind of area too, so. With the timing. You know, it's kind of like your car. Yeah. Everybody's got cameras on the back of their car now and sensors and all that stuff. And, you know, 10 years ago, that would have cost you 10 grand to do something like that. Yeah. So, so and, and quite honestly, you know, some, some engineers uh, absolutely positively never like having the bid come in over their estimate. And you add 10 percent or you add 15 percent and mm -hmm. to make sure that that doesn't happen i'm not saying that happened here but uh very rarely do you see an engineer's estimate end up being lower than the project cost it <coughs> it's a rarity i've seen it once i think in the wall here and uh so uh they they do estimate uh, i think uh, appropriately and uh the the proof is in the final results so the final results are the ones that we have that we accept so uh, it seems our budget is you know we're saving a hundred thousand dollars plus so the budget is uh, much better off I mean with, basically with the, the same engineering staff that that estimated the work initially is approving the or yep. recommending the bid yep. is that right yep I move to award the bid for the Comprehensive Water SCADA Upgrade Project to Automatic Systems, Inc. Second. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Awarding the bid for the Comprehensive Water SCADA Upgrade Project to Automatic Systems, Inc., the lowest bidder meeting specifications in the amount of $491,840. Is there any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries. <coughs> Next item, we'll consider declaring miscellaneous utility computer equipment as surplus property and authorized disposition pursuant to the requirements of the city code and charter. I'll move to uh, declare the miscellaneous utility computer equipment as surplus property and authorized disposition pursuant to the requirements of the city code and charter. Second. Okay, motion second, uh, declaring the utility computer equipment as listed surplus property and authorized disposition pursuant to the requirements of the city code and charter. Is there any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I will note that uh, I believe it's August 21st, Brown County is having a appliance electronics uh, drop off. That's where all these things are going. <laughs> it's our yeah. once a year get rid of stuff. Yeah, let's <laughs> make, a, make a note of that personally. <laughs> that's why I kind of said it. There's yeah, an opportunity for the public yeah, that's, that's watching. <laughs> that's right. say, well, this is where this stuff is going. And if you have something out there, that's please watch the newspaper because there, there will be some advertising about where it is and, and when it is and the cost. I think it's like $5 yeah. a unit. But yeah well worth the cost that's funny you say that because i have found computer screens out where i go mushroom hunting <laughs> oh yeah oh, no. i mean <laughs> so it's a good thing you did bring that up because people do tend to dump up any place if they think they got to pay something to get rid of them yep. and i doubt if this thing was in his back pocket <laughs> <laughs> okay moving on to the next item uh We'll consider acceptance of the list of claims paid. I'll move to accept the claims paid in the amount of two million one hundred ninety thousand six hundred sixty nine dollars and forty five cents. Second. Okay. Motion second to uh, accept 
claims paid in the stated amount, uh, I will repeat, $2,190,669.45. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 4B, consider acceptance of the list of claims to be paid. I'd offer a motion to accept claims to be paid in the amount of $396,342.69. Second. Okay, motion second to accept claims to be paid the amount of $396,342.69. <coughs> Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Are there any f additional questions or comments from the commissioners? Otherwise, we stand adjourned. <laughs>